this is getting a lot of eyeballs. Income tax. Oman moves closer to a Gulf first. So in a landmark moment for taxation in the Gulf, Oman announces plans to move forward with a personal income tax. The move is part of its 2040 strategy to diversify its primary income away from oil revenue and it's looking like a very real possibility after Oman's lower house of parliament approved the law. And now it sits with the state of uh, council for final approval. So if it's passed, how much tax will residents and citizens be paying? So according to local reports, uh, it will be between a rate of 5 and 9%. And this would only target high earners. And the structure would be different for residents and non-residents. And as well, you guys, foreign nationals. Uh, expats, for example, would be subject to the tax on Oman sourced income above a salary of $100,000, while Omani citizens would be taxed on any net income exceeding $1 million. And this is the gift that represents the emotions <laughs> of people here right, right now. <laughs> that personal tax income might come in if you weren't yes. sure. Um, so basically, it's going to target high income individuals mm-hmm. only at a rate of 5 to 9%. I don't know the rates of tax around. the world but I believe it's it's extremely low it's moderate I think some countries are paying 40 uh, percent if you're earning over a hundred thousand dollars and it will predominantly target expats so what Mm -hmm. they're saying is if you earn over a hundred thousand dollars as an expat you'll be taxed but if it's it's over a million net income if you're Omani citizens so it's predominantly expats I think honestly at this point um, with the economies of the Gulf region really getting better and higher and it's not going like anywhere like down you know so tax is um, I think a topic that has been talked about for so long and they are just like right now implementing it which I think it's going to be good for the economy as well I'm excited not for the tax I'm excited for the economy and for <laughs> the countries for the Gulf region you guys that's what I mean you're just excited like the- as a Dubai resident sitting in the UAE who doesn't have to face personal income tax we are so lucky we don't pay it oh yes um, and it would be the first Gulf country to introduce it and mm-hmm. if you think about it there's always going to be that like oh how is it working how are they doing five to nine percent is still nominally low in comparison with the of rest of the world course, yes there's no word about it coming in here with this announcement it's actually been a conversation for a couple of years they they talked about it maybe back in 2020 or 2022 um, but so it's taken this long to bring it to the fore and actually get it approved by the first um, by the first house and now it needs to go to the second uh, to, before it comes to law there's no word of it here but there is. it is not yet but, but not yet. when you see it coming to one country you look over your shoulder and think could they could it's going to be a here? dominant effect by the way i think it's going to be like a dominant effect because like one country starts and leads And then other countries follow. So I know for a fact, like, you know, like tax is slowly being implemented in the UAE, such as like, you know, like other things like, you know, VAT, exactly, corporate tax, different ways, yeah. But um, I don't know, because Aman started it, so I I don't know who's going to follow. I don't know. Well, I, I hope, I hope not the UAE, please don't do that to us. But it's really interesting because implementing a tax which predominantly uh, targets high income expat earners could essentially deter foreign uh, investment or people c- coming to live in the country. However, when you look at the benefits of living here, oh my what God. are they? It's tax it's, free, it's yeah. but still, if your taxes, you know, similar to Hong Kong has been so low for so many years, if your tax is very low still in comparison, it's still a draw. We still That's have the safety, true. we still have the lifestyle. So if a tax was implemented tomorrow, would I leave? No. Of Would course, the majority yeah. of people attracted to the city not want to come? I don't think so. I don't think so either. <laughs> don't <No>. listen. <laughs> I, I, I don't think so either because like we have mentioned it before, like uh, I think uh, uh, a few episodes earlier that the UAE is actually attracting a lot of millionaires to come to the country and all, a lot of businesses do start here because there are no taxes. So... This is to whoever is listening. Just please don't be. No, thank you. 